Welcome to John Gifter International, a ministry where God's grace abounds. We hope that you will be blessed by this message. Hey God bless you all, so glad to be with you today and thank you so much for tuning in for today's special broadcast. I just want to let you know that you're not here by accident. God has amazing things in store before you and I want to let you know that greater things, amazing things are there right before you. I'm going to talk to you today about taking the limits of our God. Taking the limits of our God. If there's one thing we can all for pray to is to put God in a box. We think this is how he will work, this is what he will do, this is the way it can move on. You need to understand God cannot be boxed in. God is not limited to your circumstances. He's not limited to the schemes of the enemy. God is a God of the far and beyond. Ephesians 3.20 says that we serve a God who does exceedingly, abundantly, far and beyond whatever you can ask or think or even imagine. In other words, God can do beyond what he can ever comprehend with a human mindset. God can do things you cannot even try to reason it out with a feeble, rational minding, thinking. That's what I want you to understand. Take the limits of a God. He is not limited to anything. He is not limited to what you see. He is not limited to you what you feel. He is not limited to the statistics. He is a God of the far and beyond. When you take the limits of a God, I want to tell you, he can do amazing things in your life as well. When you think about in the scripture, the Bible says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It says with men it may be impossible, but with God all things are possible. It says if you believe, all things are possible. The common denominator for all these verses is the fact that all things are possible. It doesn't say some things are possible. It doesn't say the things which logically make sense are possible. It doesn't say the things which are in line with the laws of nature are possible. No, it simply says with a three letter word, A-L-L, all things are possible. I want you to get this into your spirit. God is a God who is not boxed in. God is a God who cannot be limited. He is a God who can do things which you cannot imagine. He is a God who can do things beyond our wildest imagination. That's the beauty of our God. When you take the limits of our God, He can make sure that you go places you cannot even imagine. He can do things that you cannot even reason things out with your rational mindset. The Bible puts it this way, that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, or even the mind is concealed, the great things that God has for you. That's the beauty for you today. Don't limit him, just know that God can do amazing things for you. One time in the scripture, in 2 Kings chapter 20, it talks about a time when God made the sun to go back for the sake of one man named Hezekiah. Just pause for a minute and think about it. God didn't make the sun to go back for the sake of the whole world. God didn't make the sun to go back for the sake of the whole nation of Israel. God made the sun to go back for the sake of one man named Hezekiah. That's the beauty of our God. Just for the sake of one man, he went to that extent. He Just for the sake of one man, he went against the laws of nature. Just for the sake of one man, he went to such a wide extent. That's the beauty of our God. Just for you, God can go to any extent. Just for you, God can go against the laws of nature. Just for you, God can turn things around. Just for you, God can do beautiful things. Take the limits of our God. Don't look at the reality of the situation. Yes, it says that you have a big problem. Yes, it says that there's no way you can get into that job. Yes, it says that there's no way you can come out with distinction. Yes, it says that there's no way you, that relationship can get restored. But I want to tell you, our God is a God who can do amazing things. Yes, it may seem impossible in the natural, but we serve a supernatural God who can do the impossible. The scripture puts it this way, with men it may be impossible, but with God all things are possible. So today my challenge is, take the limits of our God. If God can make the sun to go back for the sake of one man, that is the magnitude with which God can work in your life as well. God can make sure that you reach your final destination. God can turn that person around so that you and I can get connected to make up for what God has for you. That's the beauty of what God can do in your life. You may say, John, that's all good. 
But that happened in the Bible. I don't think such things happen today. That's like 2,000 or 5,000 years ago, John. It's not going to happen today in this modern world. You know, one time when I was in the university, I woke up in the morning and I said, God, if I wanted him to confirm a word for me. So I said, I want you to make it rain today. You know, I just said it. I just came out. And then I realized it hadn't rained for almost two months. And I looked to the sky. It was so clear. There seemed to be no sign of any rain. But I had this kind of a rational faith. I said, God, I know you control the entire universe. If you want to confirm this word for me, I want you to make it rain, even if there's no other way. I just trust him. I just moved on with my work. Little over the evening, it started pouring in an amazing shower of rain. And the amazing thing is, it rained so nice and it didn't rain for the next almost two to three weeks. So the entirety of over three months, the only day it rained was the day God brought down rain just for me. He brought down that rain to show, you know what, I can do amazing things. Just like Hezekiah, God brought down rain just for me one day. That's the beauty of our God. Just for you, God can go to any extent. Just for you, God can bring down rain where there seems to be no rain. Just for you, God can bring down a job where there seems to be no job. Just for you, God can turn things around and bring the right people across your path. Take the limits of our God. He controls the entire universe. Oh, John, look at the economy. It's so down. So what? Your economy is not based on what the Reserve Bank of India says. Your economy is based on what God's word says. And his word says, Our God shall supply all our needs according to his riches in glory, not based on the riches of the nation. God can do beyond it. God can work beyond anything. That's the reason I'm asking you to take the limits off. God can work in ways you cannot even imagine just to make sure you reach your final destination. So take the limits off and trust Him. Just know that with Him, all things are possible as well. You may say, John, that's all good. But I really don't see it stand any chance. Look at that relationship. It's been torn into pieces. I really don't know how am I going to make it. That sickness is so incurable. Nobody has ever made it across. I really don't stand a chance. No, you need to understand this principle. God can work against the laws of nature. God can work against all odds. God can, there is no limit for him. He can turn things around. He can shift people across. He can do things just to make sure you reach your final destination. One time, you know, when I was in the university, there was a time when students were never allowed to preach. There was nothing wrong about it. They just didn't want any wrong doctrines and things like that. So they didn't allow or encourage students to preach in the university processions. But one day, I also didn't bother much about it. But out of the blue, I got a call from the university saying, John, I want you to speak tomorrow morning. I was really shocked. I thought, man, is this really true? I was just thinking it was just a dream. I had to literally called back to find out if what I heard was really true or is just a dream. And then I come to find out I was asked to speak. I spoke. It was not just once. I was invited to speak again and again and again. In the whole entire university of over 10,000 people, the, I was the only student who was able to speak in the university programs. Not only that, it was never done before in history. That's the beauty of our God. It seems like nobody else has done that before. It seems like the policy doesn't make sure that I am eligible to preach. But God worked beyond the policy of the university to make me preach. People came and asked, John, what made you? How is it possible? I don't know. I don't have what it says. It's all to do with the fact that God works beyond the policy of the organization. That's what I want you to understand. Who told you? that you don't stand a chance for that promotion. God can work beyond the policy of your organization to make sure you get that promotion. Who told you that sickness is incurable, that you don't stand a chance? God can work against the laws of medical sciences to make sure that you are getting healed and say, yes, my God can heal all diseases. Who told you that that relationship is never going to get restored? God can turn things around. 
If he can change the hearts of kings in a split second, God can do the same thing for you. He can change people. He can change their hearts. He can shift people across. He can turn things around. He can make sure that you reach your final destination. You may say, John, you don't understand. Look at my reality of my situation. I don't have the connections. I don't have what it takes. I don't have the right people. I really don't stand a chance. I'm going to mess up. I don't have anything, a good future to to speak. When you think about that in the scripture, in the book of Mark chapter 1, he talks about four different disciples. John, his brother James, Peter and his brother Andrew. All the four disciples were just mere fishermen. All they could think of in their life was just fishing. They were good experts in saying which fish is good, which one to catch at what time. This is all they could think of. They lived such a below average, mediocre life. Nothing great, so to speak. But in Mark chapter 1, it talks about the time when they came across with Jesus. When they came across with Jesus and Jesus gave, told them about following him and doing what God had planned for them, they, the scripture says that Peter and his brother Andrew left their nets and followed the Lord. James and his brother John left their father and the men and followed the Lord. Here's the key I want you to understand. When you put down your nets, so to speak, your excuses, so you put down and say, you know what, I'm not going to let this weigh me down. I'm not going to let any of these excuses or the wrong decisions or overanalyzing going to put me down. I'm going to take the limits of our God. Or like these people, John and his brother James, say, you know what, I'm not going to let the wrong people limit me down. I'm not going to peep, make sh I'm not going to allow people who have a you know narrow minded thinking to put me down. I'm going to take off and follow what God has for me. Same like Peter, same like James and John, when you take the limits off and say, you know what, I'm taking off my excuses. I'm going to let go of the people who are limiting me. I'm going to follow what God has for me. You know what? They were just media fishermen, but they ended up becoming fishers of men. Long story made short, they became history makers, world changers, life transformers, people who led a mark, not only in their generation, but in the generations to come. That's what I want you to understand. People who didn't have anything to do in their life, all they could think of was fishing. All they could think of was living a mediocre life. But when they came across to the plan and the destiny that God had for them, it changed completely from being normal people to becoming world changers and history makers. That's what God can do for you. The same way he made me be picked out to become a history maker in the university. The same way he picked out the four disciples and to become history makers in this world. I want you to understand, God can make you be a history maker. God can make sure that even though no one else has done it, no one else has gone to that standard, God can be make sure you're the first one to reach that standard in your family. God can make sure that you're the first one to overcome that sickness. God can make sure that your story is amazing, that it will be told a million days to come. That's the beauty of our God. He can do amazing things for you. So today my challenge is the simple truth. Take the limits of our God. Just remember the three letter word, A-W-L, A-L-L. -L. God can do anything. All things are possible for him. When you take the limits of our God, just know like Hezekiah, God can go to any extent. He can go against the laws of nature. Like for me, he can go to the extent of bringing down rain just for you. He can go against all odds amazing things just for you. Just remember this important truth that no eye has seen, no ear has heard or mind can conceive the great things that God has for you. And like these four disciples and like in my case, when you take the limits off and say, God, I know you can do anything and I'm just trusting in you for your amazing plan for me. When you do that decision and say, God, I'm taking the limits off and follow what he has in store for you, I believe and declare the same way God made them history makers and made them to become world changers, God can turn things around for you. And he can make sure that God is going to do exceedingly and abundantly far and beyond whatever you can ask or think or even imagine. May God bless you. Amen.